catch them all. Hey guys, Pokedown here. With all the amazing Pokemon we have, there are bound to be some that don't quite live up to the standard that we like. Don't get me wrong, there are some amazing Pokemon designs out there, and that's also a video I'll be covering in the future. But today, you join me in counting down my top 10 most boring Pokemon designs. If I do mention a Pokemon in this video that you like, just remember that this is all in my opinion, and also that I think the designs are a little underwhelming, but that doesn't mean I dislike the Pokemon. So with that being said, you guys be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments. But anyway, let's get started. Coming in at the number 10 spot on this list today, we have a Pokemon from Gen 1. That Pokemon is Ditto. Obviously, I'm not the only one who sees Ditto as just a pink blob. We all do. So because of that, I could have put it higher on this list, but due to its purpose of being a shapeshifter Pokemon, I do understand why it has such a basic design. But again, saying that, its design is boring, and it wouldn't be fair to let this Pokemon off the list just due to its purpose. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I also love Ditto, I really like the concept of this Pokemon, and it can also be a fun Pokemon to use. Also, I like Ditto because every now and then, I'll see fan art of Ditto's face on different Pokemon or objects, and it's hilarious. This pink blob is just so unique, but still pretty basic design-wise. Coming in at the number 9 spot on this list, we have Grimer and Muck. Okay, so I had to put both of these Pokemon on this list because they are literally just sludge. I get it, again, this makes sense, but it doesn't stop it looking so dull. On top of that, did they really need to waste two Pokedex slots with pretty much the same design? I don't think so. In my opinion though, Muck did get some justice with the announcement of its new Alolan form. Yeah, it's still sludge, but at least now it's a pretty rainbow colour. This is another Pokemon that I don't dislike, same with its pre-evolution, but when it comes down to it, Grimer and Muck do have pretty boring designs. They're just sludge with eyes, and there are other Pokemon like this that aren't necessarily sludge and we may even see them on this video. Coming in at the number 8 spot on this list is yet another Kanto Pokemon, it's Krabby and Kingler. It's obvious that just looking at the design of these Pokemon that they are based on crabs. As awesome as crabs are, it feels like Game Freak made these Pokemon look way too similar to the animals that they're based on. I mean, a lot of Pokemon are based on animals, Zebstreaker is a good example, being based on a zebra, but at least Zebstreaker doesn't look exactly the same as a zebra, and it also has other qualities to its design too. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for Krabby and Kingler. They just look too much like crabs. Apart from Kingler's big pincers, there isn't really much else that makes this Pokemon stand out. And like I said with Grimer and Muck, I don't feel there's any need for this to be an evolution line. Kingler looks exactly like Krabby, except being a little bigger and some slight changes. I just want to put out there that these are not Pokemon I dislike. Krabby and Kingler simply just have boring designs. Coming in at the number 7 spot on this list is a newer Pokemon, it's Klefki. Pokemon X and Y brought with it many new Pokemon and features. They even gave us the new fairy typing, which Klefki actually has. But with so much good the game gave us, of course there had to be a little bad too. And for me, I feel the bad comes in the design of Klefki. This Pokemon is another inanimate object Pokemon, a group of Pokemon that some people don't like, but I do. Except, out of all the inanimate object Pokemon there are, Klefki has a way more boring design in my opinion. Klefki's design is based on a keychain, and boy, isn't that obvious. Honestly, I know this Pokemon is good in competitive and all, but I'm just not an overall fan of it. It just has too much of a boring design for me to like it. Its design is just basically any old keyring with eyes on it, and that's a dull design I can't agree on. Coming in at the number 6 spot on this list is Gen 1 Bird Farfetch'd. Let me just say that for a Pokemon that is hyped up to be so rare, Farfetch'd has heck of a boring design. On top of that, what is Farfetch'd even good for? This Pokemon has laughable stats and is barely ever seen on the competitive side of battling. This Pokemon just looks like a cartoon duck holding a leak, and that's because that's exactly what Farfetch'd is. 
Whoever created Farfetch could have at least given it something to make it stand out more. I mean, with so many greatly designed flying types out there, who would remember Farfetch'd? This Pokemon just has no chance of being redeemable in my opinion. Its design is way too basic, and on top of that, it's not even powerful. I understand some of you may like Farfetch'd, but I will always see this Pokemon as a joke. In at the number 5 spot on this list is Hoenn Water Type Love Disk. Now don't get me wrong, I actually don't mind Love Disk as a Pokemon. It's never exactly stood out to me above other water types, but I've never disliked it either. But even though I don't dislike Love Disk, I have to admit it has a really dull design. It's basically just a heart. Yep, that's it. Oh, except it can swim too. In Gen 5, a lot of people, myself included, thought that with the reveal of Aloma Mola, we'd be getting Love Disk's evolution line and that would make this Pokemon more memorable. But of course, we didn't get that. I know you could argue that Alomomola also has a boring design and it's forgettable, but when Alomomola is placed next to Love Disk, it's obvious that Alomomola has the more advanced design because like I said, Love Disk is just a swimming heart. And as for Alomomola being forgettable, I agree with you there, but that's a topic for a different video. Like I said, I like Love Disk, but with such a basic design, it just had to be on this list. Coming in at the number 4 spot today, we have Voltorb and Electrode. For those people who say that Game Freak are really running out of ideas for Pokemon designs, just remember that Voltorb and Electrode were in the first generation of Pokemon. But the question is, what amazing creature inspired the design of these Pokemon? Was it a dragon? A shark? Maybe a sword? Nope, just the Pokeball. Voltorb and Electrode are just Pokeballs. Oh, except when Voltorb evolves into Electrode, it just turns upside down. I know right, pretty crazy. On a more serious note though, I just don't really see the appeal of these Pokemon. Their designs are very bland and even if they wanted to make a Pokemon based on the Pokeball, they just didn't get the right designs for these Pokemon. A Pokeball Pokemon design can work. It went well for Fungus and Namungus in my opinion. I just feel that Voltorb and Electrode have really underwhelming designs and I had to put them on this list. <laughs> Coming in at number 3 spot on this list is another Gen 5 Pokemon, it's Basculin. Now this Pokemon hands down is one of the dumbest fish Pokemon out there. I say this because it looks way too much like a regular fish. I don't see the appeal to its design or even the Pokemon itself and since I don't know anyone who loves Basculin, it's fair to say that most people don't like this Pokemon either. Basculin has two different forms, one where it's blue and one where it's red. And do these forms mean anything? Stat changes maybe? Massive design change? Nope, not at all. In fact, the only thing I have to think about when it comes to Basculin is which design I like more. The answer is none. And I mean, at least with some Pokemon, they try to make up for its boring design by making it play a part in the Pokemon anime. But as for Basculin, they didn't even bother. It just had one or two small cameos and that was it. I just really don't see the appeal to this Pokemon and it is way too boring for my liking. Coming in at the number 3 spot on this list is the Hoenn Pokemon Kecleon. Kecleon's another Pokemon on this list that I feel looks way too similar to its animal counterpart. Kecleon is based on the Chameleon, and in my opinion, they just look way too similar. On top of that, there isn't anything special about Kecleon's design either. It actually looks pretty bland in my opinion, and it isn't a design that I think stands out. I mean, to be honest, Kecleon isn't exactly a memorable Pokemon either. In fact, most of the time, I can't even remember if Kecleon's from Johto or Hoenn, but it's from Hoenn, of course. I can't really say I know any diehard Kecleon fans out there, and that just shows that this Pokemon is pretty forgettable. And I honestly think it comes down to its boring design. I'm not asking for Kecleon to have a rocket attached to it or anything, but it would be better off if they just gave this Pokemon a more interesting design. Coming in at the number 1 spot on this list, and in my opinion, the Pokemon with the most boring designs are actually Ducklet and Swanner. So some Pokemon are on this list due to their massive resemblances to their real life animal counterparts, and for me, no evolution line shows this more than Ducklet and Swanner. Let's start with Ducklet. I complained about Farfetch'd and its massive resemblance to a duck, but Ducklet looks way more like an actual duck. And on top of that, nothing special about this design either, it's really basic. And also, I don't really like Ducklet as a Pokemon. Pokemon. 
I just think it's a wasted Pokedex slot, but I don't feel quite the same way about its evolution, Swanna. Don't get me wrong, I think this Pokemon is swell, and I also think it has a really graceful design, but that's just because it's based on a swan, and that's what swans look like, graceful. Like I said, I like its design, but it just looks way too much like a real life swan, and Swanna being the Pokemon counterpart of a swan doesn't really have much going for its design. Much like its pre-evolution ducklet, I happen to think these are both really boring designs, and because of that, I had to put them on the number one spot on this list. But anyway guys, that's all we have time for in this video, so if you enjoyed, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing for more. Also, if you disagree with anything I had to say in this video, or you think I missed anything, be sure to let me know about it in the comments. And remember guys, just because I think a Pokemon has a rather boring design, doesn't mean I dislike it at all. But with all that being said, I've been Pokedan, you've been amazing, and I'll see you guys next time.